Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Uh, this week is going to be a little bit different. I have sped up the video to... Honestly, I have no idea what this will be, but I think two times speed. <laughs> I'm not sure what the translation would be, but... Anyways, it's sped up is the point. Um, it turns out that I recorded this footage and I didn't have any sound to it. I don't know if I forgot to turn on the mic or what it was, so there's going to be no real background noises it's just going to be the music and um, I figured I would go ahead and just create a voice over here to get us through it uh, I'm going to be setting up my media journal this was week 47 so running from Monday the 20th to Sunday the 26th this would have been the final week in the Hobonichi weeks if I was going to be moving but I did decide that I was going to stay in this week's and finish it off seeing as how I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to be moving into a week's next year or not. So I figured it'd be a better idea to go ahead and stay within this uh, this week's. So anyways, that's the spread that we're going to be doing. So right now I'm just setting up as usual. I'm using some of the stickers that I have left over. I'll be off cuts for my uh, media titles. So ultimately this beginning part is pretty much the same as usual. I'm going to create the little uh, pixel box habit tracker area for the type of media that I consume. Um, for anyone who hasn't seen my previous videos, basically in this little section I have a color coding system and then depending on what I end up consuming in terms of media on the day, I'll go ahead and fill out one of the boxes for uh, whatever that uh, color coding system entails. Oh, and pro tip here, um, I am not a big fan of the 0.38 size nib in the Hobonichi uh, Unijet stream. So what I ended up doing was buying on jet pens a 0.5 and a 0.7 refill. I don't use the color coding red or blue. I'm not a fan of either of those colors. Plus, I don't really care for the 0.38. So I took out the blue and the red and I filled in these areas for them with that 0.5 and 0.7. And um, I've actually been loving it. I've been using the 0.7 to write in um, in my traveler's notebook insert that I'm using for coursework. And uh, I love that. And I'm a, I, I think I'm a 0.5 girly because I love the Sarasa pens and those the ones that I have are 0.5. So I've been using it a lot more now that I have those pen refills. So just pro tip, if you are one of the people that don't enjoy the Unijet stream because you don't like the 0.38 size, which I know I'm in the minority, right? Like I know that most people enjoy a thinner uh, pen nib, but for me, at least, at least with the like, I can't even say that it's just because of the ballpoint because even with the fountain pens, I think I like the medium nib more than the fine nib. I don't know what it is, guys. Personal preference, you know? But uh, <laughs> if you're like me and you prefer, prefer a thicker pen nib, then that's a little pro tip for you if you want to get use of your Yuwa Jet Stream. Uh, especially if you have like a million of them, then, you know, you might be able to uh, have different size nibs inside of them. Here I went ahead, I forgot to mention one of the other things that I do in my regular spread is I do that line that I then erase. And that is just a line so that I don't forget to leave the space for the colored coding dots. So yeah, it just helps me be a little more clean, um, a little more organization, and a little easier to remember what the setup is going to end up looking like if I use that line. And I do it in pencil so that I can erase it later, and it was like it was never there to begin with. And then for decoration, I'm going to end up using a combination of different stickers. Uh, the one that I'm just pasting down right now is one of the ones that I have made. I printed out. And then this blue, the sticker sheet that I have right here with all the gold foiling and the, the blue kind of like watercolor look, that's a sticker pack that I got from Sticky Club. Um, so I'm going to be using a combination of different Sticky Club sticker sheets. This one I got from their Black Friday sale. I didn't really participate in Black Friday this year, but uh, I did get some sticker packs from Sticky Club. And then I'm also going to be using some of their uh, stickers from the November Sticky Club uh, packs. I was so happy when I saw that the vintage pack brought in these uh, moth 
and kind of vintagey um, looking stickers because I love butterfly stickers and I've been meaning to get some but the only thing I love more than butterflies is moths at least in stickers I don't really care for butterflies like as like an animal my favorite animal is the shark um, but it's not as easy to decorate a spread with a bunch of shark stickers, to be honest. <laughs> There's something about butterflies and moths and insects, insects in general that are really nice to decorate with, at least in my opinion. Um, I'm sure many would disagree with me and that's absolutely okay. Um, but yeah, I was so happy when I saw that the, that, that sticker pack was in there. If, uh, if there end up being extras of that one, I might buy some additional sheets. I did end up canceling my Sticky Club subscription after this November um, kit. Not because I don't like them or anything like that. It's just that uh, I don't want to end up having a huge collection of stickers. I want to use them up. And also, um, I ended up wanting to resubscribe to Get Messy. And I can't have so many subscriptions. So I made a call and I canceled my Sticky Club subscription to be able to do the Get Messy one for a little bit. Um, I might be doing a December daily series uh, now in December. I don't celebrate Christmas, but I was thinking of doing a kind of like non-Christmassy different take on December daily. Uh, and so I wanted to just get some additional like inspiration from other creative artists and all that. I absolutely love gold foil stickers when it comes to like little stars and things like that. So I love seeing them in sticker packs. It's like one of my favorite, favorite things. Aside from, you know, butterflies. <laughs> I really like this spread. It is a little more like minimal for me. I know, minimal and it has like 50 stickers. But um, I really liked the color combinations of it. It's very fall, even though... Where I live, it is very much winter at this point. Uh, it's already snowed a few times. We had a really bad snowstorm a couple days ago. I can't remember, but we had a pretty bad snowstorm. Uh, and it snowed like three or four times already. So yeah, we're in the dead of winter and it looks like I was wanting my fall back. <laughs> so I finished decorating and now I am filling in what I've watched, read, listened to, etc. Uh, throughout the week. So yeah, I figured I'd talk a bit about what it was that I was consuming this week. So first off here on Monday, I didn't end up um, pretty much consuming any media. First off on Tuesday, I listened to the summary of the Miracle Morning, I think it's called. Um, I watch a lot of videos by Planning Life with Erin, and she talks about how groundbreaking reading The Miracle Morning was for her. And it's about um, establishing a like morning routine that will end up being your Miracle Morning. And I didn't really want to read the whole book, but I did find on Everend, which used to be Scribd, which is a audiobook platform, um, I found a summary of the book. So I listened to that on Tuesday and I really liked it. I'm trying to find a way to better my morning routine because I am starting to work on my, my writing again and kind of get a writing routine set up and, you know, juggling all the clients that I have with being a virtual assistant and now also being a creator on YouTube and, you know, starting to work on my writing and eventually set up a newsletter, you know, all of those things. It's a lot to juggle and having so many different hats to wear in terms of like being a business owner and them being so different from each other. I've been struggling a bit with juggling with all the different responsibilities. So I thought that a good way to kind of counteract that is starting a better morning routine. And then aside from that, I watched a few more episodes this week's of Yellow Jackets. As I'm recording this, I already finished season two. So I finished the two seasons that are already out. And wow, please, if, you, if you've watched Yellow Jackets, I need to talk to somebody about it. Because I, listen, I'm someone who can guess a plot twist a mile away. And Yellow Jackets really had different moments where it completely threw me for a loop. So definitely, definitely enjoyed it. Definitely went 
places that I was not expecting it to. I think I went into Yellow Jackets not really knowing what it was about other than thinking that it was a kind of, I guess not a direct retelling, but similar to what a retelling would be for like Lord of the Flies. So I was very surprised time and time and time again. Um, so yeah, if anyone's watched it, would love to talk about it. Um, aside from that, I ended up rewatching uh, Fall of the House of Usher one of the days. Mike Flanagan has become like a comfort director for me. And so I wanted to watch, uh, I was struggling going to sleep. So I put on Fall of the House of Usher episode two. Yeah, because I had rewatched episode one already. So uh, episode two, which is Perry's episode. If you know, you know. And this week, I did end up listening to a podcast. I was so proud of myself to fill in that blue. I don't know the last time I filled in a blue square. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Uh, but I do end up filling out two blue squares in this uh, this week. Um, and I was listening to Common Shapes podcast by Marley Grace. And that's in preparation of a course that I'm going to be taking. I did mention that in a previous video. Um, I'm going to be starting a writing course that is by Marley Grace. And so I wanted to like consume some of their podcast and preparation and they also have a Skillshare class so if you do have Skillshare definitely check it out if you want to learn some more about like newsletters and all that um so I was listening to to their podcast and yeah just uh writing my thoughts on Yellow Jackets and Marley Grace's podcast but that's pretty much it for this video we're coming to an end thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me I hope you like this uh shorter video with the time lapse that is my weekly media journal. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.